LC heads, what's up? I'm sure you can already tell today was an awesome day. If you didn't catch the last little snippet I put out, I pulled this girl off a 300 lapis single pull because that is what Adis gave me today in the mail. And I was like, what am I going to do with this 300 lapis? Well, it's one pull. And this girl popped up on my screen. It's nice. Nice way to start off your day. Mm. The boys in cloud nine today. Now, I did not get her arc, but I was instantly not that worried about it. Because guess what? Anything that manipulates magic will help this girl out. Anything that will add to casting speed or just a magic damage. So I already have arcs that I can use for that. So wonderful. I didn't... I want her arc, definitely. Uh, it is my top priority right now. Uh, but you don't absolutely need it to run this girl and get a ton out of her, I don't think. Um, it would be nice to have because these... These arcs and stuff typically have clutch abilities on them that are on, well, particularly this collab, uh, including the old arcs. I mean, Honey Elixir's out there. That's a big deal. And a lot of other fun stuff. Even the SR arc has some cool abilities that I like, like Moonblade, and some abilities that help you cheese, like Wasp Time, Wisp Time, and... I don't know, Blessing of Mana, 5% stat to your stats for 5 SC on Sunday. That can really help a player out that's struggling somewhere. You know what I mean? It's 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 pretty cool. So uh, keep an eye out on these arcs and all these abilities that are out right now because Secret of Mana is just kind of known for adding that to this game. And Secret of Mana is also known for having an upgraded magic system. Mana's in the F and title yeah, sorry, your boy's excited. Lots of coffee. Mana is in the title of the damn collab. How do you think the magic's going to be? Hmm? Yeah, and this girl is dropping it on all elements, getting boost to all elements. And she has at her disposal some crazy shit that's non-elemental. A non-elemental damage spell. Kind of like, uh, you know, Monster Yoda and all of that. But I'm sorry. This girl's dropping it so much harder than Monster Yoda. I don't even think it's going to be a competition because it is mana magic. And it's going to be faster to cast, faster to uh, spam. They always are. Mana magic has always been. And, you know, just to break this girl in, I think I just... I barely just got her to 70 SC. I have one crit up on her, and I have Proud Force. So you need something like that to solo anything, I've learned, obviously. We're going to try to, to pull this girl through the mud a little bit. Let's take a look at her real quick. Let's take a look at what mine looks like, because I'm sure... I think I'll be able to show off some synergy in her kit, because we're going to be using her kit, and we're going to be using some basic uh, magic some of her basic mana magic to get through some god content. Why not, right? So here's mine, level 61. She is at 105 out of 108. It's the best I could do within an hour and a half because I just got her. She's at 76 out of 77. Uh, I just had to, you know, the Proud Force was the last thing I had to put on her to actually make her runnable or to at least have a chance. So, um, yeah, keep in mind... This girl has a long way to grow. Uh, I did a simple build on her where I concentrated on two elements so far. Because I have the arc uh, from this collab, I have contact uh, contract with Puck. That is, that is instantly an awesome boost to ice. So then I just put ice uh, rays on her or whatever, the one that uh, strengthens magic. So she's getting a little bit of boost to ice. She's also bringing Gaze of the End, so everybody's getting minus 10 to everything. Helps her find an element where she's strongest. And I empower Dark as well. Um, yeah, Dark is the other element. And I have him half as powered up, right? This is just has Dark Boost. That's all I had enough for. I didn't get a chance to put, like, Dark Mega Boost and all the, you know, fun stuff. So I have two elements powered up. And the beauty of this is you can teach this girl every power up you have you for every element you have and then whatever fight you need to go to and whatever elements are the weakest there 
you just pick those elements to power up on her. You might only need to use her for one element. So you power up that one element and then you can deck everything else out on making this girl, you know, tankier, more supportive, whatever you want to do. The point is it's awesome, right? Her traits, spell, spellbinder, uh, become spellbinder class, staff equip, magic, attack, damage plus 30%, damage cap plus 3,000. Very nice. Going to apply to every type of magic when hit it. Well, every type of attack magic. And then this uh, Altenish Magician, when hitting an attribute weakness with the magic attack, damage plus 30%. Mana attack spells effective against bosses. Use plus three more MP to plus three percent more max MP to deal plus eighty percent more damage, and that goes up to a hundred, hundred percent more damage. I just don't have her fully built yet. That is awesome. That is like a sharp eyes built into the spell, where if she starts hitting something and she realizes that it's like weak to it, she freaking. She powers it up, I guess. Like, when she knows she's hitting a weakness, she's going to sacrifice a little bit more MP, and she's going to do more damage to to that attack, as long as she's hit, hitting a weakness. Which is why Contract with Puck is so nice on her and stuff like that, because that lowers uh, resistance all around. And then you give her, like, Giga Weakness, and then there's, like, a minus another 10-20% to everybody, because they stack. And then you'll be able to find a weakness no matter what. You'll be able to apply... 100% more damage on it, more damage cap, all this good stuff. Uh, she also has something where she sacrifices some of... She actually has a... Uh, Freaking... What is it called? She is She's hurting her hit point pool to do more uh, damage with magic. With just one of her abilities. It is like sharp eyes. Straight up. Um, on top of her traits. Okay, so she actually has something custom to her for that, and that shows too, every time you see this girl cast a spell, she will be hurting herself. Um, it's not that bad, as long as you have a proud force on her. That is why I wanted to get that before I actually ran her. Here's her equipment, nothing too amazing. I did manage to get her staff. I don't know if I'll be able to get her armor piece. Her armor piece is awesome. It really is. It's got some very nice stuff on it and it makes it hard to harder to interrupt her while she's casting which is pretty freaking amazing for a mage uh but if i'm gonna run her with two staffs i i might not need it i don't know I'm still out on that one but this is what this one has just to increase uh, her casting speed and a cultist pendant right so here we go we we are going to at least hit up some god mode at first just to see how she does there and show off her ability kit let's go to the white lab I haven't been there in a while and they do have a nice easy god mode level to ease into there's the arc I have on her that's just adding to magic in general so it doesn't matter what's well, gonna add to casting speed and uh, doesn't matter which element, so it's a nice arc to throw on her instantly. And unlike Maja, this girl doesn't instantly pass out. Which is kind of funny. Maybe if Maja was younger, he wouldn't pass out after, you know, the first five seconds of casting spells. So we could start out crazy with Ancient Curse, but actually to get through this, I think I'm going to drop Evil Gate a lot. And I'm going to do that because I believe these guys are weak. Yeah, there we go. They are weak to dark, as long as they're kind of bunched up. This is why Mana Magic is awesome. And she's just hitting for, you know, 30k. Here's her S1. This is nice. This hits everybody, and it has a chance to kind of stun them. I believe we'd have to look at that again. Her, her attack by itself, if we put Moon Saber on her, this is why I love Moon Saber, She'll be able to heal herself just off of this. Look how much healing she's getting from her basic attack. Right? That is pretty good healing. Like, right now, this guy cannot do anything to her as long as she keeps doing basic attacks. We're just showing off her kit. Yeah, run away from us, man. Here's the S2. She drops weights on people. And it's awesome because it's it feels like it's instant once she throws that thing up there. 
It's not going to get interrupted. There's our S3. It's like a machine gun, and I love that. And here's the S1 again to interrupt people. S1, get away. S2 will drop a weight on your head. And this is between spells, yo. Right? MP is charging up. This is between spells. So she has crowd control built in between the spells. We played this out like this just to show off exactly how her kit works. It's awesome. The crowd control's there. She has, you know, I can't wait to run her in some other stuff. We'll have to do some benchmarking videos on her. Let's at least show off Ancient Curse since, well, we seem to have saved some MP. Uh, yeah, these things, well, it doesn't matter what they're weak to or what their resistance is because Ancient Curse is a powerful no attribute attack. So this is what is going to compete with Apocalypse, baby. And look at that. It's going to be way more spammable than Apocalypse already. Let's just see how it does. Actually, I might want to put Moonsaber on myself. It's like a big meteorite that comes down. It's gnarly as hell. Look at their health. They're like damn near dead. This guy that got to run up to me... Her S1 instantly crowd controlled the shit out of him, pushed him away. It's going to be so useful against, well, we'll have to see how it works against the shit chickens because, you know, that is the level for me to benchmark at. But I have a feeling this girl is going to do effing phenomenal. It's going to be insane. But first, we got this fight to get through. So let's start, uh, let's throw that S3 again. I like that S3 uh, because it's like a machine gun, like I was saying. Here we go. Ba 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 bow, and it's a nice big shot to finish everything off. The S two is nice, and everything's range. She can hit you with she can hit you with this stuff from like across. Let's get Moon Saber again on us. She can hit you with all this stuff from across the screen. That's nice. Uh, they're bunched up. Am I hitting a bunch of them? Look how much healing I'm getting just from the basic attack off a of Moon Saber. Get away from me, you fool! Here's an S four. We get this on top of that. She, uh, it's no attribute, even though it's ice. It did say no attribute attack rise. Decent damage. Why not have that there? Oh, look. These fools is stunned. That's right. Baby girl has a stun built in. Yeah, these fools are stunned. I tell you what. We'll drop a weight on this fool's head. I love this because she'll just throw it anywhere. Boom. And while he's getting wrecked with that, let's see what her freeze looks like. Because I do have the freeze powered up a little bit. And since we have so much MP. Oh, see, freeze is going to do great damage too. They're not even weak to that, and that almost wiped them out. Here is Evil Gate on the last one. Very quick. Oh, he already died. So looking pretty damn good for her right out of the box. Jumping into a god mode level. And being able to crowd control her way through. Now, <laughs> I did run her way earlier when I didn't have proud force or anything like that. And uh, you know what? Here, this one, the final wave, the boss wave. Let's just start strong. We'll go with Ancient Curse. They're going to get rock with this, and then we'll be able to recover from whatever they throw at us. Some physical attacks. Um, how about a Dark Spell? Right there, while you're getting rocked by this meteorite, too. Goodbye. Oh, you want to follow me? I got this thing called crowd control, see? Check it out. I like that. And here's that machine gun to push you the hell away. Boom! Get out of there, son. Drop a weight on your head. Drop a weight on your head. We, You know, we don't even need Moon Saber. Who am I kidding? Let's try to show off an Earth. This is Stun Gust, right? Oh, he actually interrupted it, that son of a bitch. Oh, no, he didn't. There's Stun Gust. Great damage, even though they're not weak to it. There's my basic attack. Here we got an S4 again. Let's drop weights on these fools. I love it. I'm having a blast with this girl. She is absolutely effing phenomenal. This is her out of the box. This is great. Ancient curse these bitches. Oh, one of them did get stunned. You done. Ancient curse, you done. Oh, look at that. I have MP for one more. Get out of my face. Look, it cast even though they were in my face. That's great. We get to finish somebody off with our skill kit. Here's that S2 from across the screen. So everything is long range with her. 
So she, her kit can benefit from Mage Leon. Mage Leon. And look, I still got enough for a Moon Saber just to make sure that I can stay healed and even basic attack this fool to death. I mean, the rate of attack with her basic attack is nice. It makes... Look at all these little... All these little healing... Uh, blobs I'm getting right it makes it worth it to put moon saber on her or to have somebody cast moon saber on her there's that s3 right in his face does push people back that s1 oh look we have enough MP now I think to yep yep we'll throw some more magic at you that you can't block and we'll just start spamming it right and Let's see. Before we know what we have her ass for. Love it. She flows so goddamn good. Uh, this is why I was hyped for the magic. Uh, I wanted to see what they were going to do. They didn't disappoint me. I'm happy AF. The fact that... I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I am just getting her out of the box. I haven't even got to try a bunch of different stuff with her yet. This is just the first thing I threw together on Baby Girl. And look at that. She will cast in your face. This one's taking less damage. He's got a higher, uh, he's got a higher mind because he's a mage, obviously. Oh, and that S3 is just, it's nice. It is very nice. I do like her kit. She doesn't have mage land, but right here she'd be wrecking with it. So, obviously her only limitation right now, the way I have her, let's use, a, let's use Sploder. Her only limitation that I have right now, um is her MP, as you can see, but, you know, she's not powered up. On top of that, she does have the ability in here to have a chance to let, like, if you resist some of her damage, I think she gets to ignore some of your resistance or something like that. Like, we'll actually look at her uh, and, and everything when I actually get her tree filled out and can see what's going on. Um, and, yeah, she's a great character, super powerful I don't know what else to say about her. She is just, she is the shit. Uh, she is, uh, wow. I, and I like how they did it because guess what? They left Maja light element, okay? Maja is going to have light on lock, replacing Lily's ass with that, okay? No matter how creepy she is. And then, you know, Maja is a different type of mage too. He passes out. He does do hella killer light damage though. Um, how does that going to compare with mana magic? Damn, son, they're going to be up there. They're going to be up there competing. Uh, Mana Magic has just been more spammable. As you can see, this is pretty damn spammable. Uh, and she doesn't pass out and go unconscious after her first or second uh, big spell, right? Um, her casting time is also not reduced. Maja's is. It's cut in half. Any casting... Uh, buff that you put on not buff but any casting boost that you get from equipment is going to be cut in half and I think they put a limit on it like you can only have so much and that's going to be cut in half at least that's the way that it looks if I'm wrong somebody please correct me about it I'll be more than humble and I'll give you a shout out but the point is she doesn't have to really worry about anything like that and these spells are quick and snappy and I really really happy with what they did I told you all a while ago I'm hyped for the spells I cannot wait for the spells Mana's in the goddamn name. And you know what, Gummy? Adis. <laughs> you guys you guys did this one right. You guys did this one right. She's a monster. She's a beast. We'll go over her arc later. I would love to have it because it is that shit for, uh, for Secret of Mana spells, which is what this girl's dropping and rocking. But, hey, it's not absolutely needed. You know what? I would want the staff on it, too, just personally. But hey, it's not absolutely needed. I have other arcs laying around that I can put on her, obviously, as you guys just saw, that will increase her casting speed and will still add some damage, no matter which element she's throwing. So that's cool. Uh, she's not as dependent, in my opinion, on the arc that's on her banner as much as uh, Reese. Riza! Riza is more dependent on the arc that's on her banner. Like, she really needs that more... Uh, to be top tier just IMO right now with from what I've seen if I miss something I'm sure somebody will call me out on it no big deal but that's what I think uh, and this girl she can use other arcs that we already have so that's cool but I still want her arc I want both of them 
uh, like I've been saying, this collab is notorious for giving clutch ass arcs out that have cheesable ish abilities or abilities that are going to help you be able to make a character way more cheesy and cheesy is always fun because it's going to help you clear hard content and get stuff and grind things out it's nice to have some cheese uh that's, that's all i can say right now very happy with this girl and best of luck to everybody i hope you all pull her i hope you got her faster than me and i hope you got the damn arc too right because the only way to get that arc you're not going to get it guaranteed on the uh summon the the step on the step up right uh you can you can get the girl i believe on step three uh or what lap three step five you automatically get the character that's not the case for the arc for the arc you actually have to collect 300 of the uh round two uh, metals and damn I was kind of hoping they would bunch those together because there's so many characters to clear in this and so much that it's like they really should I really wish they would have combined uh, those trading uh, trading space coins so that you could you know maybe get the arc from step two with all of the metals that you grinded out from the part one banner you know part two and part one Regardless, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm actually kind of close to getting the part one arc. I think I'm like 60 pity pulls away from that. But the part two arc, I got the girl instantly. Happy as hell about that. And it's not looking like, I'm not going to pity it. There's no way, I, I just, no, I can't talk myself into doing it. I don't care how good some of the abilities are. So... It is what it is. This girl's amazing. She will adapt to whatever uh, whatever arcs you have for whatever um, element you have to power up as far as magic goes. You can just teach all that to this girl. And whichever element you need to bring to the fight, like I said, you just power those elements up. right? And right now I'm rocking her with the two element setup. She's getting a boost to ice and dark. I could just take that down to one element. Shave like, I don't know. 15 SC off for her and put that into something else. So that's always good to know. That's always nice. Or if you need to bring three elements, you could actually do that with her and power them out accordingly. Uh, her kit's fun. The crowd control's there. She is the complete effing unit A and she is part two worthy, just IMO. A lot of people have been waiting for this girl and I think everybody that's been waiting for her will be happy with her. So that is my final take on this girl an hour and a half out of the box. If I mess something up, well, I'm sorry. I did the best I could. Everything here is just IMO. And please correct me if I'm wrong. We can have an awesome discussion about it. Maybe I'll learn something new today. So pretty good day. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm pretty psyched. So I'm going to get back at it, and I'll talk at you all soon. Deuces.